we have a, a mission statement that says to bring innovation and inspiration to every athlete in the world. And there's an asterisk on the word athlete and a footnote that says, if you have a body, you're an athlete. The whole basis of innovation at Nike is the relationship we have with the athlete and the insights we get from that relationship. Uh, it's really digging deep, not only in talking to the athletes, but studying the athletes, measuring their activity, and then uh, really just working with the athletes, athletes and digging into their you know, personality and understanding kind of what motivates them, what drives them. Well, I think they had more so of the player, the, the exact position in mind when they designed the, uh, the jerseys and uh, the actual pants, meaning it molded to whatever shapes and, and whatever your, your body bends and things of that nature. So they, they, they pretty much left no stone unturned. All of this provides an incredibly wealthy amount of insight and information that we can then use to turn into uh, incredibly innovative design. Well, yeah, Nike's uh, was co-founded by Bill Bowerman, who's a coach at the University of Oregon, and he was the quintessential eccentric, obsessive, fixated inventor type. Uh, as a track coach, he was totally obsessed with uh, uh, designing product and crafting product that could help his athletes perform better. So he really set the tone, I think, in the beginning in terms of uh, Nike's fixation on uh, innovation and product. We have incredibly talented designers at Nike. There's probably 700, over 700 designers working at Nike in all design disciplines. And then we collaborate with uh, designers outside of Nike at the same time. So we get fresh perspectives all the time. As a young designer, I was uh, flying um, to work with a, uh, a, a manufacturing partner and I was sketching on the plane and somebody asked me, what do you do? And I said, well, I'm a, a designer. I work with a company called Nike. The response of the person was, what more can you do with shoes that hasn't already been done? And uh, I think about that and I kind of laugh a bit because today I see more opportunity to innovate than I ever have before. The shoes I'm wearing are knit. They're called fly knit shoes. It's an old um, craft knitting, but we've actually modernized it and brought some new technology to it. So now we can completely change how shoes are made and actually raise the level of performance significantly at the same time. So it's a revolution, I think, not only in terms of manufacturing, but in terms of performance design. There's virtually no waste in the upper material. Sustainability in design is an incredibly core and central part to what we do. We have an ethos uh, around sustainability. It's called considered design. So we consider the impact of every decision we make in, in product design. And not only in design in terms of product, but in the supply chain and everything else that we do, how we run facilities, how we run our business in general. Design not only creates the product, but actually helps to create the strategy for the company. Designers, I think, uh, almost by definition, uh, if they're really good and they're on their game, so to speak, uh, are very connected to what's going on in the world. And that, that connection to what's happening and what could happen really needs to be a part of how we shape our strategy with the company.